Hi, Peter here. And look, recently I've had quite a number of people who, as often the case, come up to me and say, I can't meditate. I'm sure you've heard of that before. And maybe you listening to this have been intrigued by meditation, but think I can't meditate. Well, of course, you know, it, it's a load of crock, really. And it's being lazy. Anyone can meditate. So in this uh, blog, I want to talk about uh, the stages of meditation at the very, very beginner level. And to give you an idea that meditation is just very, very simple, bringing the mind into the here and now. And so uh, another question that I hope this video will answer is, you know, how deep am I with my meditation practice at this very moment? And we go uh, deeper and as we go deeper, we get calmer, etc. And so I want to describe a number of stages that I have experienced in my own meditation, uh, which I believe is, of course, very common to everybody. So you might uh, recognize these various stages in your meditation practice. And this is good because it makes you realize that uh, even some simple efforts really are showing you that you are progressing in your meditation. All right. So here we go. So obviously the first uh, most gross level of meditation when you first sit down is being highly distracted. So whenever you're thinking about problems at work or uh, things that you would like to do in the future, for example, and you're not conscious of where you are, you're, you're completely off in another thought track, then that is uh, yeah, the antithesis of what meditation is. It's completely distracted. Now, in meditation, we want to bring our mind eventually to one object, which for argument's sake, we often use the breath. But before that, there is a number of stages that you can go through, which are uh, not uh, focused on the breath, but not distracted. So part way along that meditation journey. And we actually during our meditation go backwards and forwards through that. Now, the first one is to be aware of where you're at in the room in the here and now. Now, this is a massive leap, okay? Because what that means is, is that you have gone from the future or the past into the present moment. So if you're aware of the room around you, uh, the lighting, the wind outside, the sound of the traffic, the feeling of your uh, you know, any pains in your body. Believe me, you've actually made a step forwards uh, and into meditation, one could say, because you are being mindful. Mindful is being aware of the present moment. You can be mindful of the physical things that are around you, or you can be mindful of your own thought patterns. But either way, if you're in the present moment, you've made a great step towards uh, meditating and you are in fact meditating at this point so you don't even need to be doing anything so that's the first stage that I've noticed now further on to that um, the other form of mindfulness is when you are thinking about your own thoughts so you may be having thoughts but here's the key difference is you're sort of aware that you're having thoughts so you might be thinking well I am thinking about lunch, but I should be thinking about my meditation object. And it's easy to say, oh, I'm failing. I'm not thinking about my meditation object. I'm thinking about lunch. But you are mindful because you are aware of it. So that is a form of meditation. That is getting towards meditation. And you should celebrate that. Okay. Uh, now, sometimes you can be... Uh, it might feel that just being aware of the room is a, is a deeper state of meditation than being aware of your thoughts or vice versa. So those two uh, could be relatively, about, they're relatively about the same. The good thing is that you are mindful. So that's uh, talking about the mindfulness. Now, the next thing is trying to bring the locus of that mindfulness down a little bit. So for example, in terms of being more aware of uh, where we are, if you can bring that down to say, for example, 
uh, meditation of the sensations around your breathing and, and you know the sensations of breathing in and breathing out uh, that is the next step and you can be aware maybe it's just sensations of the body so you're sort of leaving the awareness of the room and you're spending more time on the awareness of the body that's that's still somewhat distracted because ultimately your meditation is the breathing in out in out but of course it is again another step towards a deeper meditation and if you're able to bring your mind into the present moment and especially into being just aware of say sensations in the body or something like that you will definitely feel much calmer than uh, you normally do in your day-to-day -day life so that is already there a great meditation that you're doing likewise if you can say you've got this awareness that you are um, thinking about other things so what percentage are you just barely aware that you should be meditating and most of the time you're aware of other things or are there is there kind of two trains of thought one thinking about in this case say lunch and the other thought fairly strongly aware that you're not thinking about your meditation object so depending on the strength of that awareness is how much progress you're making so if you've got strong awareness even if you're distracted and but know you're distracted then you're doing very very well so uh, don't ever think that you can't meditate just because you can't instantly go from being highly distracted to focused on one single object for hours at a time it just doesn't work like that and if that's what you're expecting it's no wonder when people say oh i can't meditate so be aware of just these simple steps and just be aware of trying to be in the moment and be happy with that that you are indeed meditating you are indeed progressing and you just need to keep that up and gradually your mind uh, will still itself like ripples in a pond and you'll be able to focus on uh, smaller and smaller and smaller uh, meditation object and then as you get a smaller those uh, you become more aware of that meditation object so for example with the breathing what we do is we go divide it up into three parts and then nine parts you know the part, beginning of the in-breath the middle of the in-breath the ex exhalation of the in-breath so you're being more finely getting uh, meditating on more fine distinctions and that increases your focus increases your awareness and meditation and therefore deepens your meditation practice so that's it uh, next time that you feel you're not meditating realize that just the very realization that you're not meditating is in fact mindfulness and therefore is in fact meditation so don't get disheartened you're doing really well uh, keep it up and you will definitely get better the more you practice so keep going okay that's peter all the best